The One Show, Simon Reed discusses making new series sign up for free now for the biggest moments from morning TV subscribe and valid email when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these new sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or services our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights you can unsubscribe at any TV adventurer Simon Reed 44, has journeyed around the world fronting travel shows for the BBC, with programs on far-flung locations including Australia, Cuba and the Caribbean. The London-born presenter has admitted that while he has experienced some lucky breaks throughout his career, his life has not been without heart. Simon, who is a best-selling author as well as a TV presenter, grew up in the inner city of London, saying he came from an or the presenter's life took a downward turn as a teenager and he left school with no qualifications. He largely puts his successful career down to sheer luck but also a lot of heart. Speaking about his new series, Incredible Journeys, the presenter spoke about his difficult raised in Shepherd's Bush, Simon explained, I'm opening up I guess for the first time about the tricky start I had. I still get people who think, you're on the telly you've been doing, you must be another public school boy from a wealthy family. That's not my b He went on, I thought it would be quite useful for people to know that I come from quite the opposite background, a very ordinary family. I didn't get on a plane until I was an adult and started working. Simon added, I didn't grow up going on exotic holiday. The BBC presenter also explained that he ended up on benefits but after a shed load of luck secured his first role in media, working in the postroom for a national public. I flunked out of school and I was on the dole but I had some lucky breaks, Simon. I never want to forget that. EastEnders Michael Greco announces he'll be first-time dad at 51 latest Phil Collins' son Simon Ayer's controversial lockdown views draconian exclusive Naga Munchetti reassures upset guest after cancelling radio appearance Twitter, Simon finished, it really was a shed load of luck, hard work and here I am years and years later making television. Meanwhile, the TV adventurer returned to screens last month with incredible journeys on BBC2 which takes a look back at some of the most remote destinations they include the forests of Borneo and the deserts of Central Asia. The presenter also dished on his past and growing trending him a bit more open about when life got a bit difficult for me, si I spiraled down into a very dark place when I was in my teens which still affects me. Simon added, I've been to very dark places in my journey on TV and also in my own life.